Everyone laughed when a man married a fat black girl, believing them to be a terrible match. However, flash forward two years, those very same people were shocked by what they saw and regretted their words. Kabore Sidibe had always been a larger woman. There were no two ways around it, but she had learned to love herself for who she was. There was no point trying to fight nature or change who she was as a person just to please other people. Gabori was an actress, and as such, she was literally putting herself out there for other people to criticize. While many fairly commented on her acting, there were those that ridiculed her because of her weight. Kabori had gained notoriety when she landed the trouble to teenage lead role in the gripping and gritty movie Precious, directed by Lee Daniels. From that point on, she got many other roles, and her career was truly kick-started. She was living the Hollywood dream, one that she had always aspired to. Her big screen roles made her famous all over the world, and the parts she was assigned in several TV series ensured that everyone knew her name, regardless of what screen they were looking at. As with pretty much all celebrities, the press loves to intrude on their lives. Digging up dirt and making up gossip about them in order to sell magazines or drive internet traffic. One such story that they liked to run with every now and then was how Gabori had never been romantically linked with anyone. They would even sometimes cruise insinuate that are being single at something to do with the weight, though they never expressly said that in fear of any legal recourse. Eventually, though, Gabori met and got into a relationship with a man called Brandon Frankel. This defied all her critic and naysayers and proved to people that just because you're a little on the larger side, it shouldn't matter when it comes to falling in love and finding the right person for you. But of course, the path to true love is never easy, and there are often bumps and pits on the road to happiness. Brandon was a senior talent executive at a personalized video company. He had worked with the likes of Sony Music, Masterworks, the Paradigm Talent Agency, and Atlantic Records. It's safe to say that he was no lightweight and brought as much to the relationship as Gabori did. Luckily, they supported each other equally when it came to their respective jobs and professional obligations. That would be a big sticking point for some couples. But thankfully, Gabori and Brandon had it all worked out from the very beginning of their relationship. At first, things were fine. Gaburi and Brandon confirmed their relationship by sharing a private photo of the two of them online. This was soon backed up by a marketing professional who also shared some similar intimate and loving photos of the pair. Gaburi and Brandon seemed like a fantastic fit, and at first, all of the feedback they were getting from the public was positive. But there were people congratulating them on their relationship and wishing them luck in their endeavors together. It was a heartwarming outpouring, but of course, all good things must come to an end, and that's when the critics started to crawl out of the woodwork. Some people were not so happy about Gaburi in Brandon's relationship. They made hurtful comments and took the social media sites and chat rooms in order to spread their poisonous opinion around, bashing the young actress for being a larger black woman. It would have been a lie if Gabber and Brandon said they knew nothing about these comments, but they did their best to ignore them. Eventually, the two lovebirds got engaged. Gabori was, of course, over the moon and was more than thrilled to share the engagement story. Brandon had used their pet cat to propose by sending it to Gabori while wearing a tag that asked, Will you marry my daddy? He then placed enormous balloons in the shape of the words, Will you marry me on the bed, covered in rose petals? It really was a romantic scene and many of their followers swooned at Brandon's romanticism. In an Instagram host made just after the proposal, Gaburi entwised Brandon was the world's funniest, nicest, toughest, and most protective man. You always agreed to my wacky plans, whether they involve getting your nails done, indulging in ice cream made with rice noodles and rose water, or participate in an insane picture shoots like this one. As you can see, their relationship really was one of dreams. Kaburi also made a separate post saying, It's weird that people think we're already married, but I guess our hearts and intentions for each other are just that clear to see. My BFF proposed, 
and now I get to hold him forever. Brandon was far more succinct in his blog post, simply saying, uh, I put a ring on it. We're engaged. The response was overwhelmingly positive. After all, who could be grudged to people who were deeply in love from finally getting engaged? It caused no harm to anyone, and it really was a reason to celebrate. However, there were still some very vocal and abusive pockets of the internet that seeded and bristled at Gabori and Brandon's happiness. The abuse was more aimed at Gabori than Branton. He got off relatively lightly, while people tended to attack his now fiancé with horrible comments. Perhaps it was because of how famous he was, or perhaps it was because they didn't like the roles he played on TV and in movies. She could never be sure about their motives, but what was certain was that she could only take so much abuse before snapping and fighting back. On Brandon's 37th birthday, Kaburi took to Instagram to wish her fiancé well and also warn other women off of sending him flirtatious and suggestive messages. She really went from a woman no one took seriously to a goddess that wasn't to be trifled with. She would defend herself and her fiancé against anyone that had aspirations to split them up or ruin their relationship. The first thing that people really latched on to in order to cause rifts in Gabber and Brandon's relationship was the color of her skin. She was black and he was white. Something that very much angered a certain demographic of their followers and supporters. Secondly, that was the weight issue. Now, as we mentioned, Gabori has always been happy in her body and loved herself exactly as she was. Similarly, Brandon loves her body too, but he was a thin and fairly in shape guy. So people just assumed that he could do better than a fat girl. These were some of the reasons why certain people mocked, bullied, and even openly laughed at the couple when they eventually got married. Imagine for a second that on the happiest day of your whole life, you had people from around the world laughing about you and your decision, not agreeing with what you're doing. This is the kind of thing that Garori and Brandon had to deal with day in and day out. No, but two years later, you won't believe how things have changed for these two lovebirds. In fact, all of those naysayers were left eating their words when it was revealed that the two of them were stronger than ever. They were living a happy and comfortable life together, and their respective careers were going from strength to strength. But it turns out that while certain people gave the relationship a baptism of fire, it wasn't actually that that made them stronger and brought them closer together. Sure, it gave them pause for thought, but they let the abuse wash over them and not affect them, instead choosing to laugh about what other people have to say if acknowledging it at all. The true test of Kabori and Brandon's relationship was the COVID pandemic lockdown in 2020. They moved in together around that time and found that instead of getting on each other's nerves, they were becoming closer than ever. This absolutely reassured them that they were right for each other and that getting married was the perfect decision for them both. And true with all, they share their unlikely love story on Instagram. Sure, they got haters and people that would still laugh and mock them. But in the immortal words of the Beatles, all you need is love. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this story? Would you ever laugh and judge someone just because the person that they fell in love with was big? How would you feel if someone was trying to break up your relationship? As always, we'd love to hear from you. So be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.